YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and in this video I'm here to share my post game thoughts from the game that we all watched between the Baltimore Ravens and the Denver Broncos and this was a really good game man um just to jump straight into it the Broncos defense which is a really really good defense it was clear that their mission was to stop and not let the Ravens run game go crazy and they did a phenomenal job of stopping the Ravens' run game. I don't even know how the Ravens got 100 yards because if you watch that game, it did not look like they got no 100 yards on the ground. But it was collective, so that makes it make more sense. And shout out to the Ravens because I love the move. I know a lot of people in the live stream were like, hashtag petty hardball, hashtag hood hardball, hashtag greedy hardball. But I was not mad at it at all. Because the Ravens' record was on the line of getting uh, so many games in a row where they get 100 yards rushing. And this was the game where they were tied with the, the Steelers from like the 70s. And they were just a little tiny bit short. And they, it was victory formation time. This was their last play. So they lined up. They had a, a couple extra blockers on the left side. And they ran with Lamar. And they kept that record. They kept that streak alive. So I, I loved it. I, I loved it. I know it's going to be some people, oh, that's not sportsmanship. I don't even think it was that. It's just that they, they just won. They were like, all right, we won a game, so we might as well keep this streak alive too. So I wasn't mad at it at all. Um, but anyway, uh, the Broncos, they they stopped the Ravens' run game. Ravens were struggling all game, even with the, the, the touchdown uh, from Latavius Murray. Still, the Ravens struggled to run that ball. So Broncos were like, y'all not going to run. Let's see if you can pass the ball. So what did Lamar Jackson and this Ravens offense do? Well, they threw for over 300 yards, something that a lot of people said Lamar Jackson couldn't do. And they they passed their way to a win. Because if this if this game was dependent on a running game, Ravens would have lost. They would have lost, and they would have lost big. So Ravens showed you that it doesn't just have to be by land. It can be through the air, too. And I appreciated that so much. I mean, they showed it last week, too. And last week, they, they left a lot of points on the field. And this week, they left a lot of points on the field, too. But overall, they got it done. And when Lamar Jackson, when he has a clean pocket, it, it is one of the be most beautiful things ever. Now, we, we don't hardly ever get to see it. <laughs> but it is still one of the best things ever. Um, and, and they, the, the Ravens offense in this game, specifically their passing offense, Hollywood, he obviously had a bounce back game. Lamar Jackson connected with him on that beautiful touchdown. Um, and also, and, and he connected with him on three other passes as well. Uh, and Hollywood was catching with his hands, not his body. Uh, so he had a nice little bounce back game. Sammy Watkins, he did have a drop, uh, but he did make some nice plays. There was really, there was one a really good play on third down. It was like third and four, something like that. Third and short, something like that, where Lamar threw it to him. And Sammy Watkins, he turned around and he sort of, he went backwards a little bit. And I was like, uh-oh. But then he put that hand in the dirt, and, and, he, and he took off. Man. Well, not took off, but he ended up getting the first down. He ran backwards, and then he cut back upfield, and, and, ran, and he hit that on uh, Pat Sertan, the, uh, the rookie. Um, so it was, it was nice that Sammy, a veteran, and you, you could tell he's a veteran wide receiver because he's been making veteran plays literally all season long. Um, so I, I appreciated that about Sammy Watkins a lot. Uh, Lamar Jackson in this game continued to make very, very good decisions. There was only one, one play where I felt like it was not a good decision. And that was when it was toward the end of the game. It was like either late in the third quarter or sometime during the fourth quarter. It was third down. Lamar Jackson scrambling. Uh, and he ain't got nothing. I mean, he's scrambling because the pocket collapsed as usual. He had a lot of pressure from the pocket as usual. So he rolled out of the pocket. He left. He said, uh, I ain't staying here. So he scrambled to the right. He's running toward the, uh, toward the sideline. Then at the last second, he threw it up. And Sammy Watkins, he tried to catch it. And Sammy Watkins made such a great play on the ball. Well, he tried to catch it, but the Broncos safety, I'm not sure if it was Simmons or if it was Stern. Both of those two are ballers. Both of those dudes can play, man. I love those two safeties. I already knew Simmons was a stud, but Stearns, he is too. That dude can play. Uh, but anyway, I, I forgot which one of those two it was. They made Sammy Watkins made a really nice play on the ball, but the safety knocked it out of Sammy Watkins' hands. So he made an even better play. Uh, on the ball um, But that was the only Like sort of bad decision I know it, it didn't end bad 
But I just I felt like that definitely wasn't the best decision. But besides that, even including that, I mean, Lamar did his thing. He did his thing. He did a uh, had a phenomenal game today uh, through the year. Again, just continuing to prove like what all these people say he can't do. Uh, so shout out to Lamar. Shout out to my Twitter profile picture, Mr. Greg Roman. Now, Greg Roman in this game, again, the Broncos took away your strength. They took away your bread and butter. They took away what you love, the run game. But guess what? Giro, he said, oh, uh-uh, I, 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 I got my boys, TT and Kiki, with me. And they were brought in. Just in case y'all want to try to take away our running game, they were brought in for a reason. And we are going to show you again why they were brought in. This passing game has just been excellent this year, man. It has been excellent. And the thing about it, too, now there were some questionable play calls with some run plays, and there were some obvious ones, too. Um, but again, the shout out to the Broncos defense for making that run game struggle all game long. They took away the run game for the most part. But um, the thing about this passing game was that, of course, you, your top two guys, Hollywood Brown, Sammy Watkins, they were involved. They were involved throughout the game. They got their catches. They got their yards and whatnot. But this would be the game where you would have to get some other guys involved too. And, of course, Mark Andrews as well. He had a good game too. But in this game, Devin DuVernay and, and even more, James Prochet. They got the other guys involved. And I know a lot of Ravens fans have been calling and asking for this for the past couple of games. I would say all year long, but I mean, it, it hasn't been that long. But all season long so far, a lot of Ravens fans, hey, man, where's Duvernay? Where's Proche in the passing game? And me, my response to that was, if it ain't broke, then don't fix it. I mean, they, they've been active, but they ain't, getting, they ain't been on the field too much. They ain't been getting, well, more so Proche. He's been out there a little bit and been catching, you catch like a pass a game or something like that. But um, this was Prochet's game today. And I was happy for him because we, we know, we all heard the stories. And, and I mean, we've seen it too. Prochet put in a lot of work. He put in a lot of work. We always heard about that whole, oh, man, the, the first one here and the last one to leave. We, we hear that about so many people. But Prochet was actually doing it this offseason. He was actually doing it. And all that work that he put in is, is paying off. It's slowly. It's a process. It's a process. And it's, t it's taking a great amount and a great deal of patience on James Prochet's part, but it's certainly been paying off. Uh, so that was really nice to see. Um, so, yeah, that would be our receivers. Of course, Hollywood, big bounce back game today. Uh, that, that deep pass on that touchdown, oh, that thing was a thing of beauty, man. And Lamar Jackson, look, I, I love that Lamar, you, he wants to take them shots, man. He wants to take the shots downfield. He wants that ball going downfield, man. Lamar, not, he not looking for no little five-yard pass. He not looking for no six-yard pass. He ain't looking for no three-yard complete. No, he trying to take shots downfield, man. He trying. He did miss Duvernay. Oh, he missed Duvernay by a little bit. I was like, oh. And he also had one negated by a penalty on Andre Smith that touched down to Mark Andrews, and that was unfortunate as well. Uh, but Andre Smith was like, look, man, I, I, I can't let you touch Lamar. I can't. That'll make me look bad. That'll make Lamar take an unnecessary hit. Nope, y'all ain't touching Lamar. Not on this play. And it was a legitimate holding call. Um, so, yeah, the passing game, amazing. Passing game was great. Loved it. Thank you. And Because this is what we wanted. We, we, we wanted to see a team that, hey, if they can't run the ball, okay, let's pass it then. Let's pass it. And they've been doing that. So, shout out to diversity, man, in your offense. This is exactly what we needed. Now, speaking of running the ball, again, the run game was a struggle. Uh, Latavius Murray in this game, I mean, first off, the offensive line. Let's start there. The offensive line, it was an ugly day for him. Uh, Alejandro Villanueva, he ended up getting hurt, so he left the game. Harbaugh said it ain't nothing serious. Uh, so Andre Smith, he finished it out for him. But the offensive line in this game, it was a struggle, man. Broncos were bringing it. Again, shout out to the Broncos. Got to give them that credit, man, because they brought it. Uh, Ravens offensive line, they just were not blocking. They weren't creating much running, many running lanes. Um, and as far as pass blocking, again, same story. Uh, if, if they just, when we get this offensive line right, oh my good. If they could, if they could get it right, this offensive line could be a thing of beauty, man. I'm telling you. Like, like y'all know, I ain't got to tell y'all. Y'all know. Because again, when Lamar has time, 
is even when he doesn't have time, he's still been doing good. But when he has time, man, oh my goodness, it's gonna be such a beautiful thing if they get that right this year. If they can get this right, oh my goodness. And real quick too, while we still talking about Lamar in the passing game, shout out to Team Keep It Clean. Not just y'all, because y'all know I love y'all, but for the Ravens being on Team Keep It Clean because. What, we, what we've been talking about, we, we, and we said it too, that the Ravens, they'll finally get a, a win by double digits if they stop the turnovers. They cut down the turnovers. They cut out the turnovers. Not even cut them down, cut them out. Lamar Jackson, no interceptions. Lamar Jackson, no fumbles. All the running backs, no fumbles. All the wide receivers, no fumbles. They didn't have a drop, but they were able to overcome that. So they cleaned it up, and that's big. That's huge. And while we're talking about cleaning it up and speaking of fumbles, Tyson Williams, he was inactive for this game. And I was like, uh, really? Wow. I, now, we knew Le'Veon Bell was going to play. We knew Latavius Murray was going to play. But I figured that Tyson would get the, the nod over Freeman. I figured Freeman would be the one that's out. Nope. It was Tyson Williams. And he was on the sideline. You could tell he, he was definitely humbled. Uh, of course, he would rather be out there. But um, I'm, I'm sure we'll see him next week after this game. Uh, one of my guys, <laughs> one of my guys was like, this, this is John Harbaugh, just, uh, this the battle of the backups. And we'll see. We'll see. Cause Tyson obviously been their, their lead back, so to speak. Um, but it is definitely a committee back there. Cause they, it ain't like Ty, Tyson leading in yards, but it's not like they are giving him all the RB1 snaps. I mean, they don't even really have an RB1, uh, according to how they play. Everybody gets a little piece of the pie. And Le'Veon Bell in his debut, can't judge him too much because it was his first game. So I, I got to give him a couple games. But in his debut, as a runner, he, he started to get more and more comfortable as the game went on. Obviously, he ain't break nothing. He ain't get no big runs or anything like that. But <laughs> nobody did. Because uh, <laughs> this was not the game for running. Um, but Le'Veon Bell, like, like I said, he got more comfortable. But as a blocker, ooh. Blocking in the backfield, even blocking like... Duvernay caught a pass, and, and Le'Veon Bell, he dropped out. Uh, I forgot what, the cornerback safety, whatever. Le'Veon Bell made a really nice blocking. That, that was his thing. He was blocking. Nice, man. And that's what, what they brought him in for because of the blocking, his hands as a pass catcher. And there was a pass that Lamar threw to him, but Lamar threw it. He, he threw it a little too, too in front of him. And, again, I think Lamar was just like, oh, Le'Veon Bell, I thought you were a little faster than that. You know, we got a, a high-paced, fast offense. You got to bring some more speed. So, Le'Veon Bell, you got you to gotta cut out like – you got to cut out one fast one fast food meal this week so you can get that speed up just a little bit. I mean, and if you want, you can send it to me. I eat it. But anyway, um, so Le'Veon Bell overall, uh, I mean, again, it's, it's, it's his first game. So can't really judge it too much, uh, especially because, again, the run blocking was just bad. Pass blocking was just bad. So Latavius Murray, uh, he's been continuing, doing the same stuff. Uh, he is a... He just seems to be a, a, a four to five yard running back. Um, he'll break one for like maybe eight occasionally, maybe eight or nine. Oh, but he's just straight up the middle, get the tough yards, grind it out. Um, somebody in the stream mentioned he's a really good compliment to Tyson Williams, and I, I agree with that. Uh, they do trust him. He holds on to the ball, so that's big. Um, but yeah, he and he usually falls forward. Now, they tried to bounce him to the outside, but Broncos weren't having that. They were like, ah, uh, nah, we ain't going for this. Um, so shout out to, I mean, they ain't let any of the Ravens runners, whether Lamar, whether like uh, Latavius Murray, they ain't let nobody run to the outside at all. They weren't having. I mean, they barely let them run up the middle. Um, so they again, shout out to their defense because it is real and it is very good. Um, but yeah, Latavius Murray just continued to do what he do. Got his touchdown like he's usually been doing for most of the games. I think in three or, three or four of the games, he got a touchdown. I think the only game he didn't get a touchdown was against the Lions. But other than that, he keep getting them. Uh, so that's always a good thing because when you score points, that's that's beautiful. Uh, Devontae Freeman, he wasn't really out there too much. Um, that's, why, that's why I just really figured that if they were going to deactivate somebody, it was going to be him. If there was going to be somebody that was inactive out of the running backs, it was going to be him. So we'll see what happens next week. Uh... Mark Andrews, again, a good game, nice catches. Uh, he didn't have any drops, so that was good because this was a big game. This was a big game. It's crazy that this season, I know it's early, it just seems like like every game Ravens been playing has been a big game. That, that's what it feels. It feels like every game has been a big game. Now, um, real quick before I forget, 
this game, actually, Mark Lamar Jackson, including playoffs, he is the fastest quarterback to beat every team ex except his own. To beat every single team. He became the fastest quarterback to do that. Uh, and I think the uh, the original fastest um, was Patrick Mahomes. But now, not anymore. Uh, so shout out to Lamar Jackson for breaking yet another record. Because, he I mean, he's been breaking plenty of records uh, ever since he came into the league. Um, but that one record that we want Lamar Jackson to break in the get. Uh, we talk about it later. But anyway, so that, that was good that the Ravens were able to uh, accomplish that. Um, so that would be that would be your offense. Um, again, they did leave some points on the field. There were a lot of drives. They would be moving, and then they would just stop. Then they'd be moving, and then they would just stop. And be like, oh, okay, all right. Well, let's just hope they do better next drive. And that leads us to uh, we'll do special teams real quick. Justin Tucker, shout out to him. Uh, kicked a couple of field goals, made him. They was talking about how he was kicking seventy yarders. He made a seventy yarder. Uh, pre-game, but he didn't get a chance to attempt that. Um, so shout out to him. That, that boy is crazy, man. But he he is a real deal. Sam Cook, he had a very, very busy day. He was out there a lot. A lot more than we wanted him to be, but it's all good. Uh Devin Duvernay. Devin Duvernay had a questionable decision that he made where he downed a punt like on a five or six yard line and he probably should have let it bounce. I know it is hard. We looking at it from a fan's perspective. We looking at it from a TV screen. It, it, it's, it's a lot easier for us to be like, oh, he should have done this. He should have done that. When him, he got the ball coming at him. He got 11 Broncos coming at him trying to knock him out. So it's a lot harder to make decisions like that. But he certainly made up for it later on in the game. He got a really nice punt return that set the Ravens up to get a field goal right before halftime. Actually set them up to get a touchdown, but they didn't get a touchdown. But they end up getting a field goal right before halftime. So he did his thing. Um, and the the uh, their coverage unit on on special teams on on punts and kickoffs it was pretty good too. They didn't let they didn't let the Broncos break for any long was anything like that. Now defense, defense. Um, Teddy Bridgewater, uh, he started this game off, didn't make any bad decisions. Uh, didn't have any almost interceptions. Uh, he was making good decisions as usual. Didn't turn the ball over as usual. I, I actually, neither team got a turnover. Neither one. Ravens didn't get a turnover. Broncos didn't get a turnover. So they both played a, a very clean football game. And this game went by really fast. Went by super fast. Uh, but somebody who also went by super fast was Adafi against the uh, Broncos right tackle where he sacked uh, Teddy Bridgewater. And that was a nasty sack. That was a big hit. And then later on, he was the one that took out Teddy Bridgewater on a big hit that he uh, gave to him. So Adafi away, he was active. He was getting after it. And we were just very, very pleased with him as we have been because uh, he's he been making noise, man. He has been making some noise. I guess he just love uh, AFC West games off of him. Going against AFC West opponents, we done already went against three because we went against the Raiders, the Chiefs, and the Broncos. Uh, so Chargers game, uh, hey, Adafe, we expecting you to do some things now, man. Um, but we uh, just love what we see from him, man. Tyus Bowser, he had a sack. Matt BK, he had a sack. I think Ravens had five sacks. So away, Bowser, BK, man, I cannot remember the other two. But either way, shout out to the Ravens for holding it down. And they were getting pressure to the quarterbacks. Um, they were getting some QB hits and whatnot. And I do like that the refs were letting them play. They weren't calling none of that old rough in the past. Blah, 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 blah. They did have some funny business calls, though. But as far as the quarterback hits, they were letting them do their thing. Uh, secondary. Shout out to Anthony Avert, man. Clamp Clampington. He has been quiet. He's been doing his thing. And again, as far as Marcus Peters, we love Marcus Peters. Um, and it sucks that he's out. It sucks that it had to happen this way. Um, but with Anthony Avert, he's filled in very well. He's filled in very well. And he is not Marcus Peters. We know high risk, high reward. He's a risk taker. Uh, he's a zone corner, not really, not not a man corner, but he's a playmaker. But with Marcus Peters. He takes that risk. He'll, he'll be jumping receivers routes and stuff, trying to get picks. Um, but Anthony Averitt, he him and Marlon Humphrey, they play it more safe. Uh, they just stick to their man. That's it. They ain't jumping no routes. For a pick for them, it has to be a right place, right time kind of thing. But that, that works good on this defense, and it, it cuts down on the big plays that you could possibly give up. Um, so, yeah, he's he's been a really, really good fit. Uh, Marlon Humphrey... Um, he had, 
he had a good game overall. He did have that play, and he talked about it on Twitter. He said, man, he said, I got dragged 20 yards on one play. Um, but that that was just that that drive, that drive by the Ravens defense where they, they just were not tackling that drive. It's a beautiful thing because I got got to give a shout out to Wink and that Ravens defense because they gave up the points that one t- that was it. They gave up that one touchdown drive. That was it. Never looked back. Never looked back. And shout out to adjustments. Back to Giro real quick. Shout out to the fact that the Broncos took away the run. Giro and that offense, they adjusted. They made adjustments. That passing game did its thing. Shout out to Wink. They took away everything from the Broncos. Broncos got that touchdown, and Wink was like, hold up. No, not again. Y'all remember when I was a defensive coordinator here? And our off, I mean, our defense was ranked like 32nd or 31st. They were ranked something bad. I, I ain't had the right pieces. Now I do. And real quick, shout out to this team because, as you all know, we have so many people that are hurt. And the fact that these dudes still put up fights like they do, they still... Like, they are a couple of, and I know it sucks looking back, and but they are a couple of plays away from being undefeated. And I know they're not undefeated, and in some of these games, a lot of these plays could have went the other way. They could be a couple of plays away from being one and three. But it's just nice knowing that these guys, they are close, man. Despite all the injuries, they are close. Jimmy Smith, because Deshaun Elliott was out. Jimmy Smith plays some safety. Brandon Stevens plays some safety. Of course, Geno Stone, he plays some safety. They mix it up a bit. And they, I can't say they didn't miss Deshaun Elliott because he brings that thump. But Chuck Clark was like, all right, Deshaun Elliott, I got you. When he whacked uh, Spencer number 11 from the Broncos, I was like, oh, I ne- I've never seen Chuck Clark do a hit like that, ever. Well, may- maybe when, uh, when Earl Thomas swung on him, probably back then, but besides that, no. Never seen Chuck Clark do a hit like that. I was like, wow, man, that's crazy. That boy Chuck Clark came through. Um, so it was nice to see. And Chuck Clark's been playing pretty good. He's been playing pretty good. Um, and the defense, again, obviously the things are clicking with them. Uh, well, in this game they were. Uh, but And, again, the, the, the Broncos, they had never seen a team like the Ravens before. And the teams that they face, again, they can only play who's on their schedule. But the teams that they face were defeated at the time. Uh, before today, they hadn't won any games, but the Jets and the Giants, they both won today. So the teams that they faced are two and uh, four, three, three. So two and ten, collectively. Um, but again, they can only play who's on their schedule. Uh, Patrick Queen, you know what? I, I really didn't. Uh, I think Did he miss one tag? I'm not sure. I, I really didn't. Notice Patrick Queen in this game. I saw him. He did make some nice tackles now. Um, but I didn't really, like, notice notice him like that. He didn't make any big plays. Which, oh, he did have one nice play uh, in pass coverage on the goal line toward the end of the game. Uh, it was a couple plays before the Anthony Avery pick, I believe, where uh, Drew Locke threw to either the tight end or was it the tight end or the receiver. I forgot what it was. But Drew Locke threw to him, and Patrick Queen slapped it away. He said, no, you ain't about to catch this on me. Nope. Not happening. Um... Who else? Uh, Calais Campbell. He got a little push, but I, uh, I didn't really notice him in this game either. Uh, so it's hard. For a, lot of the, for a lot of players, unless they like really do something, especially watching it live and especially with while we're doing a live stream, it can be hard to notice exactly what some people do for me. Um, but, yeah, I guess that, that was that, man. This was a really, really good game. I thought the Ravens were going to win uh, by, like, four points or something like that. Guess you you just get so used to the craziness, then you just expect the craziness. But we actually got to have a calm Sunday evening uh, tonight. Well, when you're seeing this, it'll have been last night. But yeah, man, it it was just it was nice. This was a good game. This was a a game where everybody came through for each other. The offense once they finally woke up because they were they were sleep for a while. But once they finally woke up, they start coming through. I wish they would have come through more consistently because the the Ravens would have got a lot more points. But, hey, it's a game of football. Again, you got to give a shout-out to Broncos defense because they are legitimate. Uh, so, Ravens offense, they showed up when they did. Ravens defense, they showed up all game besides one drive. And the special teams unit, they played their part as well. They showed up too. So, good game, good complete game. Uh, the running back situation, again, Tyson Williams, yeah, he'll, he'll be back next week. He's got to be. 
<laughs> anyway, um, I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for watching the game with us. We had a lot of fun in the live stream like we do every week. So next up is the Colts. Uh, and they're going to bring their own set of challenges as every team does. But Ravens, they're going to do the same with them. Anyway, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And we out.